Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really fun video, this is a design with me video and I am going to show you my process on how I design icons and custom illustrations for a brand. We are designing for a company called Seaboard Co. They are a surfboard store and they are looking for fun, really cute illustrations to add to their brand. Let's get started on what tool I'm using to do so. First off, 95% of the time, I say 95% of the time because 5% of the time I am doing it on my computer, but 95% of the time I am using my iPad Pro with my Apple Pencil to draw my sketches first. And I draw my sketches first on Procreate or Adobe Fresco. Then I keep using this uh, into Adobe Illustrator and retrace the vector art into the Adobe Illustrator app. So this is what we're gonna do today. 5% of the time, I bring this sketch to Adobe Illustrator on my desktop and either I redraw it with my Wacom tablet that is right here. My Wacom tablet, little, little pen over here. Today we are focusing on only working using my iPad. We're going to start with what do I do into this icon and illustration process. So the first thing I do when I get this kind of inquiry is research the company. So if their brand is already out there, I look at their branding and what they've already done in the past. If this is brand new and I have to do everything like today, I will just start listing things that make sense for the brand and the industry. We are talking surfboard. So I'm gonna start by making a list of things that will remind the target audience of the surfboards. So obviously we're going to draw some surfboards, waves, shells. My first step will be to make some research on those, finding some pictures to try to redraw and start sketching the things out. Once my list is done and I've done my sketches, we'll get into part two of my process. So you know what? Nothing is better than example. So let's get started with research and prep and then we can keep going. Okay, so here is what we are working with. I saw this turtle, so I thought that was a really cool one. So we're gonna try to draw the turtle. Here is the palm tree. I also find this one, super, super cute. I don't even know how you call it in English. Or something. A fish, a dolphin, some shell, a surfboard. And I really like the tail of that surfboard too, instead of like the wave maybe. More shells. So as you just saw, we have been writing down what we about to make as icons and illustrations. And then I went and picked up some pictures to have some model to sketch on and make it as cute as possible. All right, so the second step here is gonna be obviously to open up Procreate and sketch those illustrations. Once we are done with this, we will bring those sketches into Adobe Illustrator of iPad. Let's do it.
the final results of the sketch. I don't know if you guys can see really well. We have uh, quite a lot of shells in some fish. Oh, I figured that I forgot a fish. I made this also. I think that was really nice. And I think we forgot one fish that that thing will be really cool to have. So let's see that one. Yes, so we gotta make this fish and then we're going to transfer everything in Adobe Illustrator for the iPad. Let's go, let's just open Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. We are going to do your size and we have a full new artboard here and now uh, we're going to go right here photos and bring our drawing there what i like to do here is lock this so now it doesn't move anywhere and i'm gonna take one illustration at a time i'm gonna use my pencil tool only stroke and i want my stroke to be black here i want the smoothing to be like maybe at eight so what I am going to do is change the opacity of our board, otherwise I won't be able to see correctly. Okay, so here I added a new layer. I make the opacity of my drawing extremely low. You can barely see it. If I take my turtle here, now I am able to retrace it. So this is what we're going to do. Just going to retrace. Oh, turtle, let's do it. So now that our designs are done into Adobe Illustrator for iPad, I save them into my cloud, my Adobe Creative Cloud, and they are now available into Adobe Illustrator on my desktop. So what I like to do after, and this is the last step before sending a quick preview to the client of the icons and illustrations, I uh, refine them, make sure they look good. So let me show you how I proceed. So obviously we're going to start by opening the project. Here we are, this is all of the icons that we made into you know our ipad so we need to refine them so what i would do for example for my turtle right here i will bring back these and then we look at everything that i don't like into my path so i'll take my direct selection tool and i will try to connect path that i missed up. So I will do stuff like that. I will continue to make sure this is looking good and that I like the final results and then I will share it with the client. So once everything looks good and I'm satisfied with the results, so let's say I really like my turtle, I don't want to do anything else on it anymore. So what I would do is select the turtle and I will group, I'll go into object and expand. So now it's not going to be strokes, it's going to be a full shape. So I'm like, okay, I want to do this. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to combine all of that. Fender and click to unit, one icon and from there, I can change 
my icon color. Once this is on, I'll show you uh, the entire icons completely done. I hope you guys enjoy the process on how I design my icons and illustrations on the iPad and then on my desktop. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my video uploads. Until next time, take care. Thanks again for watching.